Hey everyone, welcome to Brighter Rays. This week we are looking at Colossians 3, 16 through 17. And this is called Put On More. Now we spent the last several weeks working on what it means to put off and to put on. We're going to put off sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry, anger, wrath, malice, slander, obscene talk, and lying. We are to put on compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, um, patience, forbearance, love, the peace of Christ, and thankfulness. We have two more things that we need to put on that we haven't gotten to yet. We need to put on the Word of God and the glorification of God. And that's what we'll be looking at throughout this week. Now, as I've been studying to become a uh, certified biblical counselor, I've come to learn that when it comes to counseling uh, someone through relationship issues, this chapter of Colossians is a key passage. Paul so clearly lays everything out. As you walk through the passage, you see it begins with the assumption that the people uh, being addressed are believers. They have been raised with Christ. Their lives are hidden in Christ. They will appear with Christ in glory. This is the question that must be asked then. Are you truly a believer in Christ? That's the starting point. If you're not, then you are guaranteed to have relationship problems because none of the things that are to follow can truly be done by someone outside of the faith. Someone, some can be faked for a while, and a few may be done sincerely and genuinely. But is there hope for consistent and positive growth? No, we cannot hope for that. So for relationships to grow and to be meaningful, we must be followers of Christ. The Holy Spirit must have worked and is continuing to work in us. But we have our responsibilities as well. That's what we have been learning about in the last couple of weeks. Relationships break down and have problems because we are either ignorant, confused, or rebellious against the put-offs and put-ons. This is one of those passages like Romans 1 or Matthew 18 that is so applicable that you can find yourself going back to it over and over again. I don't know how many times I've seen people destroy their relationships because of their failure in Colossians chapter 3. People leave the church over this failure. How many times have I heard people with anger and wrath in their hearts choosing to slander another believer? Sometimes it's been done maliciously, with a desire to cause harm. Others have slandered their leadership or other church members to, you know, others thinking that they could uh, do it without consequence. But I'll let you in on a little secret. If you slander someone like a pastor or a church leader or someone in ministry, you can probably count on the fact that they'll find out what you said. Someone always spills the beans, right? But... Most Christians have no idea that the answer to the relationship problems was right here in this passage all along. They don't know Colossians chapter 3 has the answers for them. They just kind of stumble their way through. But Colossians 3 has the answers. So God has told us what to do. We just need to practice it. So let's get into the passage and see what the last two put-ons are. And that's what we'll be looking at this week, so... Next time, we'll begin with putting on the word.